Vaguely. Haha, <laughs> no man. There's a disconnect here. Haha, <laughs> no man. Consider it dumb. We'll play it by year. There's a disconnect here. Vaguely. Absurd. Vaguely. Bye. How's that for a normal conversation? It wasn't. Who with? Good question. I didn't ask it. My friend, Den. Dan? Den. Dan? Den. Ben? Den. Den? Yes. Dan? Den. Den? Den. Den? Like the room? Yeah, exactly right. Like the room. We used to razz him about that all the time. We used to be like, uh-oh, here comes Snatcher. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of my friend Snatcher. Right, Snatcher. Den. Dan? So this one, like my friend Trayson, right? He builds this ramp at the edge of a drained lake. Who names your friends? Trayson? Opposite of good. It's, um, bad. Don't butt in, Laren. Sorry. Who named you Larence? A fisherman found me when I was 19 years old. He named me Larence, and he raised me. <laughs> Bye, dude. I'll see you. Hey, what's up? Were you just waiting for me by the elevator? No, I was talking to my friend Ryman, and then he had to leave the second you got here. Well, Tranlin comes in with a freaking. Stop. I can already tell you're having one of Leron's friends operate on you. Try not. Try not parading, or no parading on me. He's not operating. Yeah, Try you. not. Time's up. Letter the third from my best friend Kyle. Dear Mirror, die, go Bills, love Kyle. You're adding love to the end of it. No. As you probably already know, my great uncle Grian donated $100,000 to me to start a business. I actually didn't know that, okay? Don't start a business. Let's talk, we can invest the money. I already invested the money, okay? I bought 10,000 stars and named them after you. So first of all, you're welcome. Second of all, let's think of business ideas so that I can get my money back. All right, I'm actually no longer interested. Thank okay, well, just, I'm, let me rattle off some of these ideas and then you can tell me if they have legit potential or not. Number one. Before you get started, no ideas that have anything to do with stars. Okay, number four. Oh, actually, yeah. Number 10, then. My cousin Leron is a friend of Chard, who's a personal trainer. He has a friend named Chard? That's right, he's Swiss. Swiss Chard, mm -hmm. good. Go home. No. Go home and change. No, I have to work in it. You have to work in I that walk. I have to walk. work out in it. Yeah. You're not working out in it. It doesn't just... matter. The one issue, honestly, is that it's a little hot. It's steamy, but... That's the sole purpose of the shiny. suit. It is shiny. I like that it's, it's supposed shiny. to be and a actually, sweat I trust suit. Chard. I do you trust, trust Charm because he has a record label. All your other tips say long hair makes you look like a horse. Ponytails are for ponies. Delete your blog. Okay, if you could just give me one bit of advice, just one suggestion, because right now I feel like it's coming. Just delete the whole thing. After that, all right, next tip, okay, let's say. I, I guess the slogan, okay, it's kind of redundant to say, don't bring your dad around here, and then also say, this ain't no place for dad. You just lost all your credibility like that. Ooh, you can't snap. No, but widely agreed that that slogan was the smartest thing I've ever come up with. Who agreed with that? My friend Widely. Your friends have the stupidest names I've ever heard. Yeah, well, you look like a short-haired horse. Okay, her name is Liron. Nah. Lirana. Lirana. Kind of like your cousin's name, which is Liron, except with an A at the end. Yeah. Line tip number two. Hi. Hey there. Oh. Mm. Hi. Hey. You must be Lirana. Yeah, but it's Liron. No, like you're confused. I am confused. Hey. Special delivery from accounting. I didn't ask for anything. Yeah, you asked for a receipt. Are you sure? Oh, no. Yes. He did. He did. Ah! Cheryl's getting married. I'm getting married. <laughs> All right, you guys can't drink in the office. Also, who are you? Cheryl's one of my oldest friends. Fine. Hey, don't worry, we're still besties. I don't care. You fucking prick. Don't do this. Come on. Be strong, Amir. Yeah, I'm trying to, but he just treats me like some <laughs> shit sometimes. You are lucky that my best friend in the world has a man crush on you. Otherwise, I'd stab you in the face. I wouldn't think anything of it. Your best friend in the whole world? I've known him here for five years, and I just heard of you. Yeah, we met yesterday. He said you were his oldest friend. I'm 50. Thank you for saying I look fantastic. I didn't say it, but you yeah. do. It's called a digital tip jar. For any online transaction you make, the tip jar forces you to round up to the nearest dollar and takes that excess change. It returns it to you at the end of the year so you feel like you're making free money. We make 1% off total transaction costs, which seems pretty negligible, but really starts to add up the more clients we get. That's actually really smart. That is a dummy idea I stole from my entrepreneur friend Clovis. <laughs> I knew you'd shit on it. <laughs> Isn't your face redder than a beet? I got this grill off sale. On sale, and still, it's probably pretty expensive. No, my cousin Liron, he has a friend named Sale. He's got a friend named Sale? Oh, had a friend named Sal. Sale, sale. or Sal? Sale. Which one? Sale. Sale or Sal? Sam. Which one is it, Sale, Sal, or Sam? Sale. Doesn't matter, okay? You got the grill off him. Off her. And no, not her grill, her teeth. Okay, when she passed, me and Liron had the dim idea to gank the dentures off her still breathing body. Still breathing, so she hadn't passed. We're all at the vet trying to hoof some of that laffy gassy when we realized, uh oh, some of it's euthanasia. So me and Liron hightail it the fuck out of there, but uh, 
Say I wasn't too lucky. She couldn't flap her wings fast enough. Flap her wings? Did I mention Sale was a goose? No. No, of course not, because then all my questions would have been about that. Why did the goose have teeth? I guess you can say she's transgandered. Decent pun doesn't explain the teeth, and your gums are bleeding. Sure, small price to pay. Kind of a lot of blood, and it's a pretty big price to pay, man. You don't have teeth. You and your cousin are friends with a goose. One time my friend Austin tried to like longboard off the side of a house onto like an empty <laughs> pool, but his like truck got caught in a shingle and he ended up like clipping his head on the oh, side of the pool. <laughs> yeah, he ate shit so hard that he died. <laughs> Jesus, man. And you didn't leave any space, so I can't imagine what his, what was his name, Dan? Den. Den? I can't imagine what Den was saying during that conversation. You should have left some pauses in there. Amir. Den. Jesus. Vaguely? Vaguely. Vaguely. Vaguely? Vaguely. Haha, <laughs> no man. There's a disconnect here. Consider it dumb. Play it by year? What year? Play it by one year? What year? Hey, what year is it? 2010. 2011, wanna play it by that? Consider it dumb. Absurd. Den! There's a disconnect here. Vaguely. Bye. Den! You know what I said still stands? Because that was not a normal conversation with a normal person. That's why I'm keeping the shirt on! Well, you know my cousin Leron, right? Yes, yes, I know your cousin Leron. Anyway, his ex-boyfriend, Parm, what happened? to your face. Parm fancies himself an amateur surgeon, a, a bone sartorialist, if you will. I won't. Anyway, I'm in the market for a new schnoz, you know, and the price was right at 5K plus gas. Gas? Did I mention that the hospital was a van? No. Uh, was it worth changing your stupid nose over? If you're talking about blinding Parm, then you should know that he was nearly blind to begin with, okay? If not already there. You still stab somebody in his eye, right? And by the way, why would you let a blind person operate on your face? Oh, speak o oh, the devil. <laughs> Parm's hospice nurse is calling me. Sorry, how old is Parm? 93. Your cousin dated him? It's 2013. Hello? Yes. No, no, no. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I can assure you he was blind as a bat already. You are not putting that on me. Hello? If Parm wants to talk to me, he can talk to me himself. Oh, hello, Mr. Sir. Yeah, you know what? No, you are a chicken. You are a chicken parm! You are a goddamn chicken parmesan! Hamburger, hi, how's my favorite client doing? <laughs> no, listen dude, I'm looking at it too, but this is what we were talking about after Cirque du Soleil. Weird spot for a client meeting. Sorry, can I call you back? What was that? What? That shit about the weird client meeting place. A circus? Yeah, it's an experience, a full body high. Did you get off the phone because I said that? It's just, I don't interrupt your work. Are you kidding? You're screaming into a Bluetooth right now. Hold that thought. La 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 lasagna! All your clients are food. <laughs> Let me call you back. Leave! I'm making asides to myself. If you can't ignore that distraction, you shouldn't be having multiple jobs, right? Where do you foresee us going from here? One second! Bradlin, sorry. Uh, his name's Josh. Yeah, my name's Josh. I was gonna say that. Okay, here's the problem. Usually I'm rocking that thing, the guitar with the four strings. No, you don't, man. The bass. The paste, yeah. Usually I'm on the paste and it's just like... I said the bass. I said the bass. You said paste. One second, Bradlin. Sorry, but nobody's talking to you. It's Derek. You keep calling everyone Bradlin and it's not a name. Yeah, I know, I know. We are Jake and the Amirs! Awesome! Uh, we're called the Takeover UK. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, still, I like this guy's leadership. Thank you, Bradlin. Oh no, it's Mark. Bradlin. One, two, three, four! If you're on a boat, then you're paddling. Horse, then you're saddling. If you're on the stage, then your name better be Bradlin. The crux of this short is that my, that's my boy Bradlin in that tree, and he's just hurling hard, hard rocks and like apples down at cars that drive by. Jeez. Oh yeah, I'm having an affair. Oh, I'm cheating on you. Oh, I'm cheating on you. Oh, get liquid. Get liquid. Oh, get liquid. Oh, pick up that. Pick that up. My face. Pick that up. My face. Pick that up. My pussy. Have either of you guys had sex before? Uh, despicable uh, me. Uh, 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 sex. The Forget it, okay? My cousin Leron jacked a pamphlet from a dentist and tried to slap these on herself. Herself? Himself, I said. No, you didn't. Turns out he couldn't. Uh-oh, no surprise there. Leron's a coward and a thief. Good thing his buddy Travin was right around the corner and he fixed me up right good. Only problem is, He's concussed. How? Sitting in the operating chair, I'm this terrible combination of pissed and scared. Kicking my legs willy-nilly like a jackrabbit over water, but Lee and Trav were gung-ho about the project, not ready to relent. Luckily for me, Trav is a freaking geezer. What do you mean? How old is he? He's a sprightly 93, but doesn't look a day under 30. He's not. Not.
your contact, your latest contact is just a little silver cube thing. That's my lock guy, Box. His name is Box. Correct. You have a lock guy. Yeah. Whose name is Box? Absolutely of Jorts. Den. Den. Who names your friends?